Mr. Mayor, I rise to uh, propose this motion and to express my horror on behalf of the residents of Ealing uh, on the nature of what took place in our borough uh, last Monday night and in the early hours of Tuesday morning. I saw much of it firsthand. I was on the streets uh, of Ealing Broadway between 8 o'clock and 10.30. At that point, at 10.30, it became too dangerous to remain on the streets, and so I returned to the town hall. Uh, I was actually uh, not able to leave the town hall for some time because of the nature of the disturbances actually happening in front of the town hall. Um, but at a later stage, I was able to go into Percival House uh, and speak with Chris Begley and others about what the response was in terms of an emergency response from the council and also watch the CCTV footage, which, as we all know, uh, as events unfolded, it was a horrific night. It was a tide of evil that came into our town, and I saw the groups of youths and I would say predominantly young adults because uh, the figures clearly show actually in terms of the arrests that it was predominantly adults who carried out uh, these attacks on our town centre and our residents and businesses. But I saw it, it was evil. There was a terrible uh, foreboding and ugly feeling on the streets as it unfolded. As I watched uh, the supermarket in Ealing Green uh, burn down and the flames lick out of the top of that building, I thought, surely, I'm afraid, we will have people who have lost their lives. I want to give my own personal tribute to uh, Richard Bowes, who stood up for what is right in society and was a resident of ours who sadly paid for his courage, and it was immense courage because it was extremely violent and dangerous, uh, and he paid for that courage with his life. I've been in contact with his family. Uh, they have emailed me today and thanked the council uh, for um, flying the, uh, the flag at half-mast and paying our respects, and they're grateful for all the support that they have received from our community uh, in the sad passing of uh, Mr. Bowes. Can I also say that they would very much welcome uh, local people to attend his funeral when it does take place. Uh, it will probably be in early September at St. John's Church in West Ealing, but as things progress and we have more details, we'll let people know uh, what uh, the, 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 the exact date and time will be. They've also said that they would like to uh, take a collection at that funeral in order to uh, put into uh, the fund that we've established for the victims of the riot on Monday. Um, can I also express my condolences to the three men in Birmingham and all those others who have lost their lives in these terrible incidents? Can I also express uh, my concern and horror uh, that residents were left without protection? And I particularly wanted, to, uh, wanted council to hear from Ms. Ring on, on Maidley Road. I know Maidley Road. I lived there for many years when I first came to the borough. And I think it is um, terrible that our residents, and she spoke uh, and was representative of scores of our residents who were left defenceless and who were left in terror. There was another young woman who told me the story, and this was repeated many times. She was stuck in her own home with 60 hooded youths outside who were threatening to burn her home down. She was in terror. And so I think it's important that this council understands exactly uh, the scale of that terror and the fear that our residents were in that night. And we need to make sure that those lessons are learned and understood so that we can try our very best to ensure that never happens again. Can I also pay my tribute to the police and to Commander, uh, Borough Commander Andy Rowell? 
I was in contact with him throughout the night. I saw the few police resources that he had at his command. And it was uh, a terrible situation that they were in. I did, as I stood on the top of the town hall steps, see a very thin blue line of probably only about 10 officers seeking to try to quell this mindless violence that took place and to establish some kind of sterile safe zone in the centre of Ealing Broadway. They were the ordinary police officers that we know. My own Greenford Broadway safer neighbourhood sergeant was in that thin blue line and he came up to me and said, Councillor Bell, I think you better go inside. Uh, it was very, very frightening and dangerous and it is absolutely true that those police officers that Commander Rowell talked about put their lives on the line for Ealing residents that night. And I think we should be in no doubt about that and we should pay tribute to them and we should give them our full as thanks and support. Um, I'd like to just uh, make some other points, if I, I, I can, Mr. Mayor, in terms... Sorry? Yeah, just quickly, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, in terms of um, where we go from here, we are looking to uh, have uh, an inquiry that will, will work with uh, the national inquiry that's going on to find out the causes so that we can f put in place uh, medium to long-term solutions, and we will work, we'll work through scrutiny uh, to do that. Can I also say that we will continue to protect our youth service and youth offending team because although we need the stick of making sure that those who have perpetrated these crimes are fully brought to book and the complete force of the law is, is um, deployed against them, we equally need to make sure that we work uh, with those young people who are vulnerable to a life of crime and who would potentially come back to do these kind of things if we do, do not try to intervene. Could I just say that we do have a new £2 million youth centre in West Ealing that is currently being built and that will be uh, open very shortly. Um, can I also say that I do think we need to, as uh, all parties, look to see if we can in increase the resources that we do have for our police officers in the borough and that is a call to the government to review uh, its cuts in terms of police numbers. But I will also commit, I'm winding up Mr Mayor, thank you. I will also commit to review our own uh, decisions about our budgets regarding community safety in the wider uh, context of our decisions in autumn in the Star Chamber. And so, in Mr Mayoring, in ending, I would just say uh, my thanks to the people of Ealing for showing such resilience to the officers for all that they did. Uh, it is a thick silver lining to a very dark cloud because the community togetherness has been absolutely superb and magnificent and I hope it continues for a long time. Thank you, Mr Mayor.